troll out. We upgrade 100 gold or 250 gold. Well, YouTube, what do you guys think? I think 250 gold is good, but again, it's the same dilemma of max HP, where I've actually come to really value max HP just because of how much better the rest become. Let's take a look at the path. We have two, three upgrades, potentially, and one elite. If we're feeling pretty good, and the shop is pretty good, with the, if we do take 250 gold, then we can go ahead and do... There's only three upgrades the maximum we can get anyways. So what we can do is... It looks like one elite is all we can do anyways. Alright, so that's what it's going to be, one elite. Upgrading, I think is really nice. It gets the dual cash of the zap going. I think 100 gold is a little less downside. But 250 gold could be something crazy at the shop. We'll see. I think it's like lagging all of a sudden. What the hell? It could be a crazy relic. It could also be a crazy like power or like or skill that could... So we're going against the Guardian, right? So Guardian, you want consistent defense. I think the last tick that I had could have beat the Guardian. Because I had Weaken as well. Hologram Steam Barrier Barrage. Ah, uh, 16 Barrier. Runic Capacitor, Leap, Panache, Emotion Chip, Pantograph. So, Emotion Chip is interesting. You could take... There's a few things we could do, right? So, Runic Capacitor is not bad. Runic Capacitor is a shop-only relic. It's only 202 gold. And what we could do is that can open up things like... Consume. And if you get consumed, then we just win with Runic Capacitor. That, that can be fantastic. Um, a motion shift could be interesting. If we take like a hit me build and we have darkness, then we can let them hit me a little bit here and there. And then dark scales up like crazy and then we're doing crazy stuff. Or same thing with Plasma. A motion shift could be a good YouTube title. Like um, The hit me dark builds. And what we do is we try to control how much damage we take. Like maybe like one or two or three. And then dark is scaled up. That could be cool. Is the audio messed up? I think the audio is messed up. Let me see. Is it just you? Let me see. Is anybody else having messed up audio? Testing, testing. Testing, testing. Audio is fine? Okay. What is the, the first relic for sale? So this is called Runic Capacitor. You start each combat with three additional orb slots. Hi, doing Kaluga. How you doing, Electric? Um, yeah, uh, Runic Capacitor is not bad, because it does open up Consume. It's true. A Motion Chip could be really interesting, but we'll go, we'll get the Runic Capacitor. We'll get a Leap as well. We'll get a Coal Snap since we have the Capacitor. And we'll remove a Strike. I mean, that's a pretty decent shop. We got Removal. We got a nice little Relic. We have potential to have a nice Archetype. Depends on what we get. It opens up the most possibilities, exactly. Consume mainly. Consume ends up being a really nice way to start winning this this game. Is you? Hey, no worries, Zach. Now I'm just curious what's going on with your audio. I mean, I, I if I would like your audio to be fine. Glacier's fantastic. Runic helps the most with Frost Mechanic, and the best way to utilize Frost Mechanic is to have Consume alongside it. <clears throat> Defrag is very good. You can argue the Storm, nah, Defrag is a play, for sure. I mean, this deck is looking really, shaping up to be real nice right now. The new Defend looks really, yeah, a lot of the art looks really good. I'm, I'm really happy with a lot of the new art. Yeah, no, don't be afraid to speak up, because other people may be experiencing it as well. I mean, look at that. Look at that frost. Oh, yes. I've already covered all the damage. Oh, he's dead. Zap, zap, zap. So, upgrading zap and dual cast are a little bit stronger now that we have... Well, barrage becomes really good because we have all these channeled orbs. So, barrage is a good offensive card. Barrage is pretty decent because we are channeling cold snap. We're channeling with zap. We're also channeling with glacier. So, barrage is doing some damages. Let's go ahead and upgrade the... It's zap so we can fill up those slots a little bit easier and make barrage a little bit better. Upgrading defrag next is a good choice. I wish I could do both. Okay, we're doing this three times only. One. Oh, yes. Thank 
goodness. I got lucky there. Let's get to this, let's get that, let's get that. Beautiful. Nice game you got here. Hey, thank you, Zach, man. Appreciate that. Which reminds me, guys, if you want to check out the Discord, feel free to join the Discord. We welcome everybody. We try to build it up. Get a nice little community going. Is it a good Blizzard start? Yeah, a good Blizzard would be good here. It's a Frost deck. Yep, yep, yep. This is doing 12 damage. This is doing 16. Oh, 18 damage. Yeah, this is a good split. I'm loving it. This deck is doing some stuff right now. Look at that. Look at that block. Oh my god. Man, Runa Capacitor is really strong. Real strong. This is definitely debt. You can do Defense Art and Darkness. One of my favorites. This deck is super strong. Reboot Turbo Ball Lightning. So Reboot is just a nice card to have. Turbo helps get like Glacier out and some defrag like that. But the Reboot could be interesting. We'll try it out. Date Whoa, we got a data disc. This is the perfect like this is the orb focus run. So this guy's gonna get wrecked by Oh, uh, this is unfortunate. I wanted to cold snap, but it wakes him up. Yes, the glacier's fantastic. So this guy's just gonna be I'm gonna block this. This is gonna be probably a perfect elite right here. I'm gonna go ahead and wake him up. It's fine. I'm gonna wake him up. I want to get the zap out, and I want—I already have all this. I just want to find defrag. There's a defrag. Oh, actually, that's bad. So much for perfect. I suppose we can draw. So barrage is massive here. Barrage is doing twenty-four damage, and it is perfect because we don't we're now. That was like our worst defensive turn, and now we're good. Oh my god, this is crazy. Barrage is massive. I gotta upgrade Barrage. Barrage is like a must upgrade now. So much value out of these orbs. Regal Pillow, I'm not gonna be needing that. I, what if I do Double Barrage? This is the Double Barrage deck? Like YouTube, this has to be the Double Barrage deck. The data just gives you plus one focus, so it just makes all my lightning and zap a little bit better. Double Barrage deck. I'm doing it. What do you think about Snickerwise in general? I think Snickerwise is, is, is very good. It gives you two card draw. And... Two card draw and it can make a, the defect extremely good because... One sec. Probably didn't want to fight this guy in particular. Cold Snap or Defrag? So Defrag gives me more lightning damage, and when I use, like, Cold Snap in the future... So, this is giving me more lightning damage, but then this is giving me Frost for defense. It's hard to say. Let's do Defrag. Hmm. I should have got him frost out, maybe. Twenty-two damage. So I'm doing six plus twenty-two. It's twenty-eight plus fourteen. Twenty-two plus six. It's twenty-eight plus fourteen. It's okay. I'd rather get the relic. I saw. I I got. I was greedy. Whoa, so Kool-Aid is good because of the Frost, but Reinforced Body is a nice block. But having Frost is not bad. So here's the thing, Kool-Aid gives me card draw, which can help me draw into Steam Barrier Zap. It also gives me more Frost, which helps me, but I'm already making it on Frost with Glacier. I think Reinforced Body is just a better card. And I only got it, I didn't get an extra Relic because I already killed them. So that was kind of my fault there. I'm not going to take the Curse, because I already have enough gold, and I don't want to get weakened. Although you could argue that, like, our 
our orbs are doing a lot of the work in this fight. But I have barrage, right? And we, we kind of want to make barrage do some damage. I'm not going to rest because I think we're going to have perfectly fine consistent defense. The question is whether or not we can split him. Here's the thing. If we don't split him on the first turn, then it's going to be hard for me to block 36. If I rest, it gives me more insurance. What's up, Hexo King? Oh, so you're asking what I thought since Snackwide. I think Snackwide is very good on the defects. You're probably asking in general, but on the defect, I think it's very good because it opens up a lot of high-cost cards like Sunder, Meteor Strike, Hyper Beam, some of the powers like Echo Form and Creative AI. And it gives you card draw so you can play more cards more often and it cycles your deck more often. I think it's very good. Sometimes it could be very bad on three energy, so things to make Snackwide better with modified hands so you can offset that. Corruption on the Ironclad. Uh, a lot of card draw. But I think Snackwide is a very good relic. It could be, it depends on what kind of deck you're running. Here's the thing, guys. I didn't need to fight the Gremlin Knot because I already got the Relic. And I ended up fighting the Gremlin Knot. I just did it just to get a card. But I took damage as well. I ended up fighting it because I already... Look, I already had the Tiny Chest and I didn't get any potion drink. Usually they're supposed to give you a potion if you kill it, but I didn't get that. Um, it's okay, though. If we rest, yeah, it's the most insurance. But then I, I probably want to upgrade the Barrage. It's whether or not I'm going to proc his first thing. And I think our likelihood to proc his first form... It's pretty low because we don't have a high, high burst damage. What we have is like... We have good damage once Barrage has orbs to play with. The thing is, we could get a dual cast and a zap. And we could proc his first form. And then after that, it's free pickings. So if I want to, what I could do is upgrade reboot. So I can guarantee that my chances to find dual cast and stuff is higher. Or I could upgrade the... um. The barrage, well, the barrage would be good damage, but I don't need that right now. I think I could upgrade the dual cast so that I can get the lightning zap out for free and then do other stuff. It's really hard to lose that. Yeah, exactly. So barrage is going to be good out in turn four, like three, four, five. Turns one and two, we need to focus on getting enough damage for turns one and two. So what we need ideally is to dual cast the lightning and to get lightning again. So I, I think I, I think I'm okay to do that. But there's so what's the chance that I'm going to get? Dual cast and zap. We have 19 cards. We're drawing five. There is like four sets of five pretty much. So there's a one in four chance I have a zap. Another one in four chance I get the dual cast. So it's a one in 16 chance. It's a one in 16 chance I get both these cards. But if you think about both turns, so if I have zap on the first turn, that's a one in four chance. And then dual cast on the second turn is another one in four chance. That's not too bad. That's 1 in 4 chance separately. Together on the first turn is 1 in 16. So let's say after the first turn, I don't draw into these. Then now my chances go down into a 1 in 3 chance to get Zap or dual cast. And a 1 in 9 chance to get both. Chances are not bad. I know I'm doing a lot of math right now. But there's then you got to consider things like reboots. Reboot adds another turn to your chances. So just say reboot kind of like... Gives you an extra chance to draw into Zap or whatever. But there's also a 1 in 4 chance to find Reboot as well. Mm, it's, it's just... What is the benefit? So, by, by basically not resting, I get more upgrades. And by upgrading, I can have a much better Act 2. So I can upgrade things like the Barrage to get much better Act 2. I can upgrade things like the Reinforced Body to get that. I mean, maybe Reinforced Body is just a better upgrade in general, because even if I do not... Actually, I don't think we're going to die. Because if so, if we don't get an offensive first turn, we're at least going to get a, a good block. Hopefully. He's doing 36 damage. I think we can block for... At least 20. No problem. You guys think I should rest, don't you? You guys think I should rest. I see. I know you guys think that because th there's there's a chance I I can't block. The highlight YouTube money. <laughs> you guys think I should block? I know it. Just rest it with bad energy. Fine. Fine. I bag a prep. I didn't think that to account. Oh, we have even better chance to get things. I didn't even think to take bag of prep into account. Whoops. I didn't take back it up to account. Oh, I just ripped. 
So we have 12 damage. If I do 6, we have 18 damage. Recover it. Easy. I didn't take backup to account. I rested for nothing. Like, I'm, I'm literally not going to take any damage in this fight, guys. I guarantee you, I rested for nothing. Oh, well. That's my fault. I didn't notice I had bag of prep. I did, I, this is, this is the freest fight of my life. I didn't need to rest for anything. So we have 15 plus 9, 24. Barrage is doing another 20. It would have been nice to upgrade Barrage or upgrade the reinforced body. Whatever. We rest it. Shit happens. We're not taking any damage here. Yeah, so the reason being is like my deck has crazy defense. I'm not gonna ever die to this guy after the first turn. But I rested because I wasn't sure of my chances to get the damage, but I forgot that I have bag of prep. It's okay. It's all good. Ah, oh, I should have just I should have just upgraded. Whoopsie. Oh, yeah, lethal. Buffer Rainbow Thunderstrike. Thunderstrike's... Oh, well, they got new art for Thunderstrike. I like it. I actually like it a lot. I think the colors are really nice. Like, the gold and black. I think Buffer helps me just get everything going. I think Rainbow's not bad because we have all the orb slots. That gives us a dark orb as well. Right? That gives us a dark orb. We have focus, so this is a little bit better. We have defrag plus and a focus disc, so this is all a little bit better. It helps fill out the slots easier and just get it out of the way and it gives me dark. I think that's kind of nice. Buffer, on the other hand, I mean, Buffer's just giving me time to get my things going. And once I get my things going, I'm going to have more than enough defense with Glacier and all the other stuff. Plus, I am also going to kill shit, excuse my language, with the barrages. Yeah, so I think Buffer or Rainbow are the best. Uh, Thunderstrike is some scaling, right? So if I want, I can take Thunderstrike just to get some scaling and... With zap and all the other stuff, I mean, I'll get some zap, do some stuff here, and then I can use this for scaling. So you can argue that my deck already is going to be good defense. What we need is a kill condition. This could be a kill condition. Somewhere over the rainbow. I know, I wish Buffer was uncommon again. I think Buffer is really good because it can block the chosen hits. It can block some certain hits. It's pretty good. It's good against Hyper Beam. I think the the rainbow gives me a dark orb, which is nice, and that could be some scaling. But I feel like buffer makes the mitigation of buffer is nice. But we do have a lot of orb slots. Let's go for rainbow. Curse key, black star, Ashlev. Okay, so you could argue that we don't really need the energy relic. I think our deck is doing okay without the energy relic, and we can go and get rid of three strikes and get some upgraded cards, which could be nice. Because getting rid of three strikes and upgrading them, to me, feels really great. But obviously having an energy relic would make my turn smoother. I could do things like the rainbow and the glacier. I could do things like more barrages, more defense. So it's either I want to get the energy relic or I want to go astrolab, get rid of three strikes and make this a really clean, extremely clean glacier frost deck. Hmm. It's got to be curse key. Got to be curse key, guys. Uh, I think Ashlev's really good, but when you're when you're offered Curse Key, it's, you gotta take that energy. We could do two elites. No, well, so here's the thing. There's there's a forced early elite right here, or the elites right here. I think I think we just do one elite and go for the late shop. We have a lot of gold, so we do want to hit a shop. Unfortunately, it looks like we're not getting a shop. We have tiny chests, so there is some merit in going for these uh, these question marks because it could be more relics. And we want to just get the late shop. I'm going to do the elite. We'll be fine. Uh-oh, we got the birdies. We got the birdies. It probably makes sense to um, knock one of them down. Going for chest is not a good idea. That's very true. That is very true. You make a good point, my friend. You make a very good point. That's a solid point. 
Yeah, we're gonna go huge barrage. Yes, we're gonna get Dupa Dog. We're gonna go huge barrage. Exactly. So barrage just knocks this guy down. So Defrag is just like Defrag Rainbow is fantastic here. Like I mean, now I have full orb slots. Look at all the value I'm getting out of that. Now darkness. If I ever, if I can ever get darkness evoked, it's doing a lot of damage. You know, this is one of those times where you actually want to get. One of those times where you want to get fission, maybe, so we can get rid of that dark. A glacier again. Hello World got some really nice. That's a really nice art. This reminds me of what's it called? That that Pixar movie. Wally. -E. Beam Cell is obviously really good. Beam Cell is really good. So yeah, we have Kursky, so we don't we don't want this, right? I made a mistake, guys. I went for the chest and I forgot that I have. Forgot I have Kursky. Do we take it? I'll get a relic. Yeah, or we cog him. I'll take it. How you doing, Denny Sar? Welcome in. It's a, Wall it's a Wally reference, exactly. Yeah, I I the Wally was a great movie, guys. I you know what? I want to watch Wally again. Oops, I should have done Barrage first. Whoops, no one saw a thing. I think most cards have art on. Yep. So Rainbow is nice just to get the dark going. Although Barrage is doing some stuff. Let's do Rainbow. Get it out of the cycle. How much harm can normality do? Good question. So we're not taking any damage here. We're overblocking. You know what? Calipers would be a great relic here. If that chest was calipers, then I missed out. Barrage is huge. We gotta upgrade these barrages. And I think beam cell would be a good consideration to take. Conserve battery storm streamline. I think the conserve battery is just a nice nice thing to take. Even more block. Even more block. Why not? Streamline gives me a little bit more damage, which we're kind of lacking. No, Barrage is doing more than enough damage. I could even skip there, to be honest. Ooh, we get... Reinforced Body for 28. Although, I'd rather do... 14. Ah, what? Conserve Battery Leap is doing 17. And then Reinforced Body for 1 is doing 24. Let's do this, 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 this. Boost sequence benefit. Yeah, I hope they keep boost sequence the same. I mean, the, the community has kind of said that they want to see it to be the same, so I hope they listen. And when I upgrade barrage, if I get a Vajra or something, barrage is gonna be nutty. Magnetism got final art, they got rid of the Magnetism art. Oh no, that was another favorite of people's. This is a huge magnet? Really? Oh wait guys, we can dual cast uh, Darkness here. GG. Rainbow's so clutch. Cool headed for card draw and more frost, which helps get the dark going. Steam barrier. I like cool headed, but I wish cool headed was upgraded because one card draw doesn't feel as great, but two card draw feels a little bit better. So I will get this, and I actually want to upgrade that ASAP. Although I think barrage is probably a better upgrade because we're getting so many orbs, and that's going to mean that it's a good upgrade here because we can kill this guy. STS owns all of us. I want to get more frost. I'm gonna save the energy. It's a good time to save some energy. Always recover from seven. Well, it depends on where you're going against. Three pots, upgrade one. Yeah, I think rare card for seven actually on the defect is not bad because there's a lot of nice rare cards that could could help you out a lot. 
I think that's a good choice, man. Oh, we're taking our first hit. No. There are some bad rare cards, but... We want to get Rainbow going, right? Want to get that Dark going? Let's get that Dark forward. Let's look for Barrage. It helps get Dark forward. I'm happy about that. Seek, oh, uh, Seek is, Seek is amazing, so Seek, mul well, actually, Multicast is very good too, man, Multicast is very good, so Multicast opens up a lot of things with Lightning, Electrodynamics, or just Dark Orbs, Multicast can be good with Plasma and Frost in its own way, I think Seek is something really good as well, because that means you can take important power, like Echo Form, or a strong card, or whatever, and always Seek it, opens up Apotheosis a little bit, I think those are good choices. And just like that, we got GG. Just like that, because Barrage is nutty. Very easy elite. This is usually one of the hardest elite, but my deck is doing some crazy things. Creative Egg, I got new art. I like the old art better, to be honest. That's a little bit too much red and bright green. Like, the colors on this are a little bit uh, off-putting, don't you think? Like, the red is very saturated, the neon green. Like, compared to the other art, this art is like, okay, not that one, but... Okay, not that one. Okay, none of these examples can... I, I can't show you what I want to say, but... Yeah, this looks very overpowering. This is interesting to take, though. Because... We have Birdface Urn, so now this could be a way to stall and get full life. You know how they took out Bandage Up and all that stuff? Well, Birdface Urn is still a possibility to get life, so this could be a way to get that. And they could also give us more and more defrags and focus, and that could be a way to win as well. Equilibrium... 13 block, retain your hands. I think you creative as the play. Hmm. This is gonna this is gonna be painful, isn't it? The thing is, I want to do barrage really bad, but I also don't want to take damage. But I I want to do barrage. I think I do barrage here. I gotta kill that guy ASAP. Nice. Okay, so we take three damage, but it's worth it. It's worth it, in my opinion. We're killing it, man. This deck is killing it. Give me those powers. Let me get that healing. Barrage. Oof. They took up... Yeah, the finger to the temple, man. They got rid of it. Dooming Gloom. Barrage. So, guys, is this a triple barrage deck? If any time is to have a good catch, you video, run, slash title, touch, everything, it has to be triple barrage. Who's who's done it before? Probably nobody. Doom and Gloom gives us some AoE, it also gives us more dark, and it's upgraded. So it's upgraded and gives us AoE and gives us dark. And we don't have any AoE, so this could be useful. This could be useful. But we can do a barrages. We can do a barrage of barrages. That's that's nice. White noise is not bad because we do have birthface urn and getting power, so it's really nice. But triple barrage, though. As long as we get some vulnerable, we're doing some stuff. Think about the clickbait. Five barrages. Think about it. Two barrages. It's not good enough. Well, you could... Well, I think barrage has a really nice art. Now that I look at it. I love the colors. Hey, thanks for the follow, Jams. We already have... Dark... This from Rainbow, but you know what? This does give us Dark Orbs. It gives us Dark Orbs for the champ, and it gives us AoE. This is a really small chest. It's not worth it, is it? It's not worth it. I mean, I have enough gold to remove, but fuck it. 
We can do another elite. So if we do another elite, we can get a relic from the elite, and then we can go do upgrades anyways. But we also have 380 gold, so we probably want to see the shop, right? What do you guys think? Get the relic from this and save our gold? Actually, let's do the elite. Here's what we're going to do. Oh, unfortunately, I can't kill that guy. Ah, uh, that sucks. That sucks. I can't... Okay. We're gonna get a, a relic from here, and I'm actually gonna skip one of the rest and just go for the shop anyways. So Doom and Gloom's gonna be clutch here. I'm gonna do... Hmm... See how... Hmm... Sucks. So Glacier... This is rough, right? Because Glacier gives me a lot of defense. It gives me... More frost, and it also evokes this. And there's a chance that lightning hits this guy. And then I stop 14. But that's a 1 in 3 chance. If I could do barrage, I stop 14 for that. But then I can't do... Hmm. I could also do barrage here. Hmm. It sucks because if I... Let's take the risk. Oh... Oh, that was bad. It's okay. It's okay. There is a one in... There's a 50% chance we didn't hit the right guy. Okay, wonderful. At least we got some dark going. See, I'm no longer going to be in the position where I don't use my Dark Orbs. I'm using my Dark Orbs as soon as I can. But now I probably need Dark Orbs for this fight right here. No, we're fine. Easy block. We have uh, 15 plus... We have 48 block. He's doing 42. I, I need to block one more. Now nah, I need Zoom and Gloom right here. Give me Zoom and Gloom. Alright, well, Barrage is great. I think I'm going to keep doing Barrage as often as possible on the boss. And we're going to do Creative AI. We're going to get the healing. Uh, Demon Gloom is going to be fine. I think if we can do Glacier into Dual Cast, we can, we can do some work. We'll see what we get. This is fine. Okay. Uh, this is fine. Mm-hmm. So since we're taking damage, I probably should do Static Discharge, right? Because I'm going to take... Well, let me see. I have 20. I have 37 block, right? He's doing 54 plus 9. 63. I have 37. This makes it so that I do... Yeah, I think it's better to block as much as possible. If I didn't do it, I would have died. I didn't even notice. If I didn't do it, I would have died. Holy shit. So I'm going to do creative so I can get some healing. Just a little bit. I wanna go, I'm going to go put on the record that this wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth doing the elite because I lost a lot of life. But we have Regal Pillow, so that's fine, I suppose. We get Nova, so Nova's a way to scale as well. Nova gives us some scaling with the Creative AI, but there's also Turbo Plus, which can help us play Creative AI stuff. And Turbo helps with Reinforced Body as well. Now, here's what I want to do. I want to... Ooh, I can get a full heal here. What do I give him for full heal? Um, Conserve Battery? It's not... That, we can give him Turbo... No, no, no. If we give him Conserve Battery, we get a full heal. Rebo's not helping us that much, right? Rebo, Rebo gives us Rebo gives us 
A full heal plus 10 max HP. And we're not really utilizing it. Eh, Reebok's out of here. Let's go. Get out of here. Easy. Easy. And I want to do the shop anyways, right? Because I have a lot of gold. I'm going to skip a rest for the, sh uh, for the shop. Wow. Okay, so Vajra is insane with the, the barrage. Kunai could be interesting as well. I can get some Kunai scaling that can help make the reinforced body and the glacier and everything else stronger. But at the same time, we're getting a lot of our block from Frost. So I'd rather maybe just get the Vajra for the barrage. I think Apotheosis is not bad because we are... We have a lot of cards that could benefit from upgrades. A lot of cards. Because we have hardly any upgrades. I think Apotheosis is a good play. Maybe just Apotheosis and Vajra. But the thing is... I want Murray for opening chests, yeah, so maybe Vajra's not that important. I think the one strength is not, I mean, it, it's, it synergizes well with Barrage, but, okay, I think Pathos is really good. And I think maybe Oma Mori so I can open chests, that makes more sense. Yeah, it makes more sense. Yeah, the Vajra is going to help with damage, but I think we have Dark Orbs to, to do most of the work here. We could do Leap for more block. I think we're okay on block, but it never hurts to have another Leap. Yeah, I think we're getting to a point where we have a lot of cards. We added cards that don't do much for block. We added... Couple cards, so I'll do another leap just to balance out the um, the block equation. Got to keep the balance. We lose the curse key or lose this. I'd rather not. I like the healing on the urn. You could argue, okay, this is giving me more rare cards, which could be like Echo Form. Ah, uh, nah, nah, nah. Okay, got different. Ooh, Apotheosis. That's it, guys. It's, it's game over. It's game over. Apotheosis makes this deck insane. All we need is a Seek. So you could argue that that would help me find Seek to get their Apotheosis out. Oh, look at this. This is so nice. Oh, baby. It's too good. So now Cool Hood is actually a good card because I have the upgrade on it. Oh, my deck's, this deck's insane, guys. This deck is insane. But now Rainbow doesn't exhaust. That's a little sad. GG. Fusion Plus, they got new art first off. Like the art, guys. I think the colors are fantastic. You just got yo, Z Zach Nafin. That's the best man. I love symbiotic virus. Me and him, me and symbiotic virus have a special relationship. A very symbiotic relationship. There's no info. It should be. It's not working. I guess they don't have confused. Oh, I think it's called Sneko. Nope. Okay, so Plasma, do we like the Plasma? I feel like we could have benefit from Plasma because it helps us get better turns and it can also help dump, dump into um, Creative AI. I don't know if Plasma, I mean, the fact that it's upgraded is not bad. If we get Cardra, then Fusion's okay. Well, Blizzard is scaling as well. I mean, let's take a look at Blizzard. Blizzard's going to be scaling like crazy because we have Double Glacier, we have Cold Snap. So Blizzard's going to scale in its own way. And it's upgraded, so this is going to be a good way to scale alongside the Dark. I think we take the Blizzard, huh? I have so many win conditions, I know, it's crazy. I don't need Blizzard because I already have Dark win condition. I also have Creative AI win condition. But Blizzard's fine, whatever, it's AoE. Fuck it. Let's upgrade things that help us find Apotheosis, and by doing that, we need to get something that has card draw. So the only card draw I have is Cool Headed. But Cool Headed doesn't feel that great to play. So what's really nice to upgrade if I don't get Apotheosis? I would say the nicest thing to upgrade would be... Okay, maybe it's just Apotheosis upgrade. At this point, what we want to do is we want... We have Bag of Prep, which is nice. Uh, at this point, what we want to do is get um some card draw. Creative AI, pretty nice. I think it's going to be a really easy fight. We just want to make sure we don't proc him prematurely with the lightning, because the lightning is pretty strong. Vex, I probably don't want to play lightning at all. That was my bad. 
Because lightning's going to be too premature. I want to get dark going first. There's the dark. Heat sinks is not bad. I suppose we could do barrage here. Actually, I'm going to do glacier just so I can get rid of the lightning. But that's it. I don't want to do that much more damage. I want to get rid of the lightning if I can. And I don't want to do that much more damage. Oh, barrage is too tempting. I'll butter him up. But that's it. No more. No more. Just let the light, let the darkness scale up. That's it. Just hang, just chill out, man. That's it. It's all good. Okay, another dark is not bad. Just get two dark orb scaling. That's fine. Beautiful. Now, if we can get loop from the creative AI, that'd be fantastic. Echo form is extremely good. Unfortunately, this is the wrong shirt for echo form to be coming out. Well, let's take a look. If we do echo form conserve battery. Or Echo Form Leap. So we have 20 block. Echo Form Leap covers it. That's fine. Oh, you're, 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 it's game over for you, buddy. You're so fricked. Machine learning's fine. Well, Barrage twice is doing some work. That's doing 48 damage. Blizzard's doing 60, 36. Let's do Machine Learning twice. This is doing 24 damage. That's fine. Still not proccing him. Get him as close as possible for the dark. He gets a 220, right? So we can afford to do a blizzard. Let's just hang it out there. So barrage twice is not bad because... It helps for the... So right now we're going to be doing dual cast, right? For, for 102. And then barrage twice is... Oh, that's for that's twenty four twice. That's forty eight. My bad. That's forty eight right there. The other one was even more. The other one was seventy two. So this is forty eight plus one hundred and two. It's only one hundred fifty damage. We can get better, but you could argue that there's another there's another dark waiting to be procced. So that's one hundred one hundred and fifty damage, and there's another dark that's gonna get procced for another fifty damage by the time it gets to the front. So this is probably close to lethal. <laughs> I can be able to do a cast for free. It's true. There's no point in attacking. Well, the point in attacking here is so I can play Glacier, right? So I can get full block. But I think we're blocking with... I can't block with anything but Glacier. So if I do Heat Sinks, I think I'm drawing a card. I would do bias. We can do bias Cognition here. Because at this point, it's going to be lethal soon. And now we don't have to worry about anything. Now we can just hang back. Yeah, there's no point in doing anything else. Electrodynamics. So at least that gives me card draw, but no, it's not good. Let's do... Um... Buffer, bias cognition, buffer. I feel bad for this man. Conserve battery into turbo. I kind of feel like doing bar barrage. Well, dual cast just wins, right? Bias Cognition. Well, this is winning, isn't it? It's close to it. It's not quite there. But it's close enough. GG. GG, my friends. So easy. This deck is insane. Electrodynamics, Rainbow Hyper... Electrodynamics could be fine, because it we do have Focus, and that gives us AoE. And... We do have Rainbow to get some, some more Lightning, we have Zap. I think Electrodynamics, at this point, is not even necessary. But we do have Focus, it could give us some AoE damage. I think our deck's just kind of doing Frost things and Dark things. I don't really want any of that stuff. 
I think I'm just skipping. It is a power, yeah. I guess I could do it. I don't. It might clog up my things a little bit. We can do Pandora's White Beast or Ori. Let's see. I think Pandora's is not good because we are used. We're not really using our defense to block that much actually, because we have Ori Calcum, right, which is better than defense first off. And then we already have Leap, Double Glacier, two leaps. Like we can do Pandora's and be fine here. Pandora's could mess me up a little bit, but I think this is a run to just do Pandora's, guys. It was a skip, yeah, it was a skip for sure. We already had Astrolab, so I think Pandora's is fine, because we're not really using our defense. Yeah, I got AoE Blizzard. I have so many... This deck has too many things. This deck is, like, overpowered. White Beast is to get potions. Ori just to find more cards, right? Ori is probably the safer pick. But like I said, I, honestly, I think Pandora is not bad here. We got Consume, which is fantastic with the uh, Runic Capacitor, even though we've been using all the orb slots. We get Hello World, which I don't like. The Blizzard, eh, it's okay. Streamline, eh. Force field. Beam cell is really nice. I like the beam cell. We're going to upgrade the beam cell. Well, keep in mind, we also have the um, Botheosis. Not the greatest. I'm not sure how if I feel too happy about that outcome. It looks like there's some forest elites. So if you want to avoid elites... Oh, I see it. There's there's going to be forest elites no matter what, but this, this is the best path. Yeah, I know. The white beast is much safer. I know, I know. I should have done Glacier in that situation because Glacier was going to be a lot of nice passive block. But I have two Glaciers, so it's not the end of the world. Second Glacier is not bad. Second Glacier is not bad. Got turbo all for one hyper beam from my Ashleb. That's not bad. It's not bad. So we pretty much healed the full. Perfectly fine with me. Dexterity pot's gonna be better than the explosive pot for this fight. Hologram plus is fantastic. It's the first one I have in the deck. Um, I think we can remove, so I, I definitely want to remove, like, the Hello World. I, I hate Hello World. It's, yeah, I don't like it. We're going to remove it. So, it's either that, so I want to remove Hello World, but maybe... So, it makes Force Field a little bit better. I think Shinman's okay, but I want to remove Hello World and Streamline, both of these. I also want to remove Ball Lightning, so if I can remove all three of these, that'll be fantastic. I'll keep this Consume, even though I'd rather have some of these Orb Slots. I'll keep the beam cell because it works well with the barrage. But Hello World, ball lightning is okay, but I'd rather. I mean, it works well for electrodynamics. Streamlines, eh. If I have enough card draw, I guess streamlines fine. But Hello World, I don't like. But is it worth it to remove as opposed to, let's say, like. What? Is there another shop coming up? Not that I see, right? I can get conserve battery for 38. I'd rather remove Hello World. Sorry. So, is this if I'm removing a strike? I was gonna remove. So, I'd rather save the Omomori for something better. Ah, this is fine. Bag of Marbles, that's great. You know what? That's great. It works against the uh, Gunner and Deco. I'll take it. Yeah, but Streamlight sure like gives me some damage. I think damage is going to be fine. Hit the guy in the back, dude. Come on. 
No. It's okay, we heal up. We have Burpus Urn. We're fine. In my world. Hit the guy in the back. I could have I could have fully healed, but it's okay, we're gonna heal in other fights. Reeve region is not as good as the explosive, I don't think. Hologram again or stack. I think stack's okay. Stack's more some more defense. I'll take the stack. Although hologram can do some more stuff. What we really want to get is Apotheosis out as soon as possible, so we're looking for things to help with that. Yeah, the Hello World's bad in this deck. I think Hello World's just bad in general, guys. The the truth is out, guys. Hello World's just bad. Let's take the risk here. Okay, yikes. That's why we got those potions. Yikes. Okay. So I can play Force Field for four, or I could just kill this guy. Okay, now we need to start healing with some of our uh, powers. Give me the powers, please. There's one of them. Consume is not bad. Oh, he's dead. Barrage again. Okay, now they're offering another barrage. Okay, so now they have consumed barrage is a little bit less good. But that could balance out the damage. We're doing it. We're do Even though hologram is probably the play, we're doing barrage. I think we could rest here just because we have apotheosis. But that's kind of not the greatest rest. What do we want to upgrade that helps us before apotheosis hits it? I would say the electrodynamics, or I guess cool headed to get the card draw. Maybe reinforced body for better block, beam cell for more. Nah, the vulnerable is not that great. No, I don't like. I don't like my deck is pretty, kind of loaded. Yeah, I don't really like the rainbow. I, don't, I like the fact that rainbow exhausts itself because I'd rather keep using my other cards. I think quad is fine for the card draw. Upgrading powers is always nice because you get the most out of them. But, like, Electrodynamics is not going to help me stay alive. Whereas I want to do something that helps me stay alive the most. So I think it's between... I think Reinforced Body is a good upgrade. The most potential block in that single card. Alright, this is kind of sucky. A really sucky turn. Extremely sucky turn. You know, this might be the fight where I just farm up with powers to heal the full. Because right now, we're not full life. You could argue we, we can use Riga Pillow no problem. Because we do have... Apotheosis, so upgrades are not as important. Could also heal the full creative AI, either or. Fusion is not uncommon, really? I like that change. I like that change, although I feel like... I think fusion fusion needs to see more play. Fusion's a, the plasma is honestly I think fusion is really strong. I think plasma is gonna open up a lot of stuff. It wasn't good enough as a rare. It's interesting because fusion. Fusion, what's it called? Storm, Axe Kick, Stack. Another Stack or Axe Kick. I could take Stack again. The deck's pretty big. Alright, Omomori coming through right here. 
Dude, why am I not getting like big chests? I'm getting some bad chests. This is a fight that okay. We now we gotta get Electrodynamics out for the AoE. I like that. First off, let's draw first. Okay, let's get this out. Let's get the rainbow out. I think we should also do a glacier here. I'm taking a little bit of damage, but I got importing power out, I would say. Dooming Gloom Blizzard Reinforced Body. Reinforced Body's not bad. I think Zap is fine because Zap is going for AoE. I think Dooming Gloom is not bad. I think Reinforced Body is... Let's do Dooming Gloom. We still want to do some damage. I was doing 22, but this is blocking from... Let's do that. That's not bad. It's doing 20 damage. I have 15 block. Oh, we're good on block. The defra barrage is insane. Blazer's doing 21. Oh, it's GG. It's not doing double damage, right? No, it's not, so. Consume is giving me six more block. Smiling mask. Fusion is uh, uncommon now. The plasma, it's okay. I think machine learning is not bad because I can, I can afford the, the extra card draw. Card draw helps me find apotheosis. And it also gets force field to be cheaper, right? So we'll do it. Upgrade, okay. Let's upgrade the machine learning. Very nice, I like that. Beautiful. Mm, we'll take it. So now we, now we get rid of both the artifacts, so beam cell is a good upgrade. In fact, let's upgrade the beam cell. Yeah, it's not a problem. No, the problem, playing power from Creative Eye is not a problem. I need Doom and Gloom here. And we, there we go. We got the top deck. Top deck Doom and Gloom. Apotheosis. You know what? I'm going to use Barrage on this guy. We're going to beam sell this guy. And you start taking cards? I know. That wasn't a prayer wheel though. The prayer wheel made it so that I was I was getting offered so many cards. It was hard to say no. Stack is massive. Uh, we're good here. How you doing, Sniper Simon? Welcome. Good morning, dude. Usually I'm the one that's saying good morning when it's like not morning, but I guess for you it's morning. Good to see you, dude. Oops. No one saw that. I think so strong. Rebound doing what for us? You know what? Rebound. It could have some uses, and I can it can allow me to play stuff multiple times. I think we we built our deck with consistent defense in mind. So let's upgrade things that are going to help us survive the first couple turns until we can get everything out and upgraded. So the first couple turns probably going to be dictated by blocking, right? And the best blocks that I have, I think. Force field's a good block because it's going to be cheaper already with the machine learning. And that's a pretty decent block. 
Let's get the dexterity pot out. Let's get the thorns out. Let's get the artifact out. Easy peasy. Machine learning. Let's get the cool headed. I, we're already taking damage, unfortunately. But, um. Alright, that should be the only damage we take. It only goes up from here. We want to get this out ASAP, but we also don't want to take that much damage. Alright, so I said that was the only damage we are going to take. I was, I was wrong. I think creative fast is more important than electrodynamics, because yeah, hitting all enemies is nice, but I think this could give me more power. So that should be the only damage we take once we get everything online. Force field. Glacier. Where's Apotheosis when you need it? And what's nice is that Apotheosis upgrades the loop here. So now I have another loop. And we have Reinforced Body. And we also have Double Stack. So we could do Loop Double Stack or we could do Defrag Double Stack. Well, let's see. So if we do... If we do loop stack, how much are we blocking for? We have 15 plus stack is 39. That's enough. So let's do that. Stack. So now we can get some good powers out. We got... What does loop do? The next show is going three times. That's crazy. So now we got to get electrodynamics out. Speaking of which, we can get it out now with hologram. I think we should play Glacier. I think we should play Heatsink so we can start getting card draw. I think the tomb is good, but it's really not that good because I don't have Inserter, so... I think we I think we win now. This is like GG, guys. We got Defrag. Yes, yes, yes. We get card draw. Loving it. Got Blizzard. Loving it. Yeah, we win now. Dual cast is amazing if I can get it right now. Hmm. Echo form is very nice. Echo form is very good. So dark's getting dark's getting increased by three each turn because of loop. So they the loop used to be like the next orb, but now they made it so. Am I seeing this right? Can I kill this guy on the left is the question. On the right. So if I kill this guy with Beam Cell, Ball Lightning, Cold Snap. Dark is doing 112, right? This is doing 4. This is doing 13. Blizzard is doing 27. 27 plus 4 is 31. Plus 13 is 47. Plus Ball Lightning is 58. Plus 112 is 170. Now more loops just... So now loops just the first orb, right? It's weird. No, I think I have lethal here. Because I didn't think the fact that the lightning's going to get evoked. So we have lethal. Unfortunately, we lose Echo Form. Hopefully, we can get an Echo Form again, though. No, so Loop... So, Loop used to be... Loop used to be that... So, at first, it was the first orb, right? But then they changed Loop to be, like, the next orbs in succession. But now, Loop seems to be the first orb again. This run was crazy, guys. This run was like... Since the beginning, this run was just like destroying everything. Everything this path. 1426. That's not a bad score, guys. That's not a bad score. Clap it up, guys. Very nice run. It was started off very strong. 
I mean, that runic capacitor, the focus, I and mean, orb slots, if you have runic capacitor, orb slots, I mean, orbs in general are really strong if you have runic capacitor. Let's go ahead and do it again.